Good evening, dear students from all over Egypt. Welcome to today's session. Happy Ramadan and Ramadan Kareem for all of you, inshallah. And happy Mother's Day, by the way. Uh, with you today, Ms. Amani Shawki Said Badawi, Tarbiya Governorate, Ms. Samar Yahya, Alexandria Governorate, and me, Ms. Wafa Hassoub, Suhaid Governorate. Hello, Ms. Amani, nice to have you today. Hello, Ms. Wafa, nice to have you with us. And uh, we are so happy to meet you, my dear friends. Today, we're going to have uh, but we're going to have a great expectation, inshallah. You will have it. And start with chapter 10, and uh, we will give you all the questions, inshallah. Okay, as usual, dear students, we'll start the novel, Great Expectation, chapter 10. Let's move to a question, dear students. If you are with me, don't get lost. Uh, Miss Amani, we'll start with uh, question number one. So, and let's see what's going on. Baby is still attracted to Stella. Oh, you know what's happening, whatever she said, but uh, let me see here. As soon as he knew, she left uh, Richmond and went back to live with Miss Hafsham. Again, he hired immediately to visit them, so he still cared about her completely, although she told him that she didn't care about him. Number two, whom did he meet on his way to Miss Havisham's house? Is the person he met riding? Oh, he met Drumbell in the end. Drumbell was posting that he had a date with the young lady and was very pleased of himself. Moving to question number three, how did Pip surprise Miss Havisham? In your opinion, dear students, how was Miss Havisham surprised by Pip? Well, he surprised her by his sudden visit and by telling her that he knew who his benefactor was. And if you remember, dear student, she was angry from him that he thought she is his benefactor because she didn't expect that and she didn't tell him that. That, was, uh, that made her angry from him. Question number four. Mr. Jaggers is an honest lawyer. Proof. Well, uh, as you already have seen, he treated um, Pip as a really gentleman. He gave him all the money and he um, did all what they told him to do. He never tells his agent secrets. He's a lawyer, Miss Havisham, and Pip's benefactor at the same time and never told anything. So, he was the lawyer of both Miss Havisham and his benefactor, but he never tell uh, or he never told um, Pip about uh, his benefactor or about Miss Havisham. So uh, he is really an honest lawyer. Yes, and question number five: Did Pip blame Miss Havisham for what she for what he told her? You know that she caused him pain, but uh, what he told her. He blamed her for not telling him that she was not his uh, benefactor. See, she, he kept imagining, although she just stopped him, but he kept imagining that she is. He misunderstood and she made him continue to think that on purpose. Number six, why was Pip shocked that Miss Havisham behaved unkindly? Although he saw her story, but uh, why he was surprised or shocked? Because she used to be kind to him as a child and pay for his uh, apprenticeship. Yes, uh, for, do you remember for Joe? He paid for that and tell him to give him a chance to be this uh, good uh, like you. So he expected her to continue like that, but she didn't. Okay, moving to question number seven. Miss Havisham is a mysterious character. Explain. Of course, she's a really mysterious person, and she's the, well. You can't expect her actions because she uh, enclosed herself inside her home. She never went out, and she never met people. She kept her cl her all close with her. That made her a mysterious character. Let's check our answer together. She looked unkind when she was called to Pip and told him that he believed what he wanted to because he, he believed that she's his benefactor. But she never told him the truth. 
She never implied to him that she's not his benefactor. She just left him to, th to think whatever he wants. Then she asked how she can help her kind relative Herbert. Moving to question number eight, what was Stella's reply to Pip's confession of love? Of course, as uh, usual, we know that she has an icy cold heart, that she never, co uh, she never cares about um, uh, Pip's love. Well, she said that she didn't share his feelings and reminded him of telling him that she had no heart. She kept telling him that every single moment he implies his love to her, but he maybe has a, a thought or he maybe thinks that she may change her feeling or he may change her feeling uh, after a while. She also told him about her plans to marry Drummond and that was shocking to him, of course. Yes, and number nine, why couldn't Pep go home after leaving Miss Hapshan's house? Why he didn't go to Joe and uh, look for him? He was wounded by Mr. Wicked. Yes, so you notice the note when he ended the, at the gate. Wicked uh, not to go home as they were watched by the police because of Provis, who they took to another secret place. So he noticed the police follow him. Now, with number 10, where was Prophet taken? Do you remember where they taken him? Yes, he was taken to Mr. and Mrs. Wimbin and their daughter, Kalara, in the house near the river. So he chose the, this house. It's uh, in a nice spot, clean one, no one can not see and it will be close to the port where they can ride and go to uh, out uh, this uh, country to leave it. Well, moving to question number 12, what plans did Pip have with Provis? Uh, according to the movie and to our novel, he chose to follow Provis to wherever he wants to go. He feels gratitude for him and he wants to be with him for all the rest of his life. He planned to escape abroad with Provis using a boat. Question 13. What did he do to make his plan work? What do you think he made? Of course, he uh, tried to uh, practice um, swimming and, and moving the boat uh, during uh, lots of time or uh, lots of days just to get themselves escape from the police. He practiced rowing for months, but nothing happened. They, um, at the end, they failed to escape from the police, unfortunately. Question number 14. Pip was still sad to lose Stella. Explain. As we told you that he kept trying to move her heart from ice into warm heart, but she refused every single moment uh, of, or, or, or way of showing his love. He knew she must have married Rommel, so he went to a theater to entertain himself. What and happened to Pep at the theater? See here, he was watching, but something happened. He was watched by a man in the black who was thought to be compissant. Pep had no other choice to except to wait and see. So he started to watch him. Number 16, what did Mr. Gregor think of Stella and uh, Dumbbell's marriage? He thought about something it's like a business or something special. He thought it wouldn't be successful. Dumbbell was not very intelligent and so they won't have a happy marriage. So it's not a successful one at all. Okay, moving to question 17. Mr. Jaggers is a clever lawyer. Explain. How was he clever, dear students? Well, he was able to help Molly, his housekeeper, get out of prison after being accused of murdering her daughter. And that was a mistake. She used to be a homeless criminal and now she had a good job. Well, uh, thanks to him, of course. Question number 18. Why was Pip interested in Molly's life story? Do you remember? He thought that she may be be, well, she may be the mother of Stella. 
Well, he thought Stella might be Molly's daughter, as she looked like her so much. Well, she, she looked similar to her in features. So he wanted to know Molly's life story to link events together. Yes, and 19, why did Bib visit Miss Hatcham again? He wanted to know Stella's life story, something, and he wanted to know what's happening about her. 20. Miss Havisham showed pity for the first time. Explain. Yes, there's sort of pity and sorrow. She thought Bib came for Herbert and promised to help him. Then she told Bib that she wasn't happy with Stella's marriage to Dumbbell. She apologized to Bev for using Stella to break his heart and asked him for forgive, to forgive her and think of her suffering. You see here she explained that she is very sad and sorry for that. Moving to question number 21, dear students, in what way do Herbert and Wemmick show their loyalty towards Bev? Well, Herbert and Wemmick helped him um, along his life, as we already know. Mr. Wemmick sent him a note warning him that he was being watched and Compson was still alive, so he shouldn't go home. Have you noticed the note, um, the, the, the notice that they uh, sent him or he sent him when he wrote, don't go home, Wemmick. That's exactly what was written in the notice and that was a warning to him. And of course, Herbert helped him to escape with um, with the convict just uh, from the police. Well, Mr. Wemmick also warned Herbert to escape, but he decided to stay and support Bib and to go with him and practice rowing so they can help Provis escape. Question 20, 22. What happened to make Bib frightened? What do you think? Well, many, many incidents happened, but in chapter 10, he learned that Provis and Herbert are being watched and Provis' life is endangered. Uh, have you noticed that they keep kept watching him just to um, try to catch him, try to, to, to catch the, the convict himself? Number 23. In your opinion, what made Stella agree to marry Trumbull? Why? What is the reason here? I think because, of course, here your opinion say, I think because she was posted that she was arrogant. They both were proud and arrogant. Both of them are looking for posting. 24. Why do you think Harbert chose a house by the river for Propus? Yes, you know, he changed the houses. I think to make it easy for Propus to escape by boat if necessary. And this is what they plan for already. 25. Why do you think Miss Havisham seem, seemed afraid of Bib after Stella's marriage? Why? I think because she thought that Bib was angry after Stella's marriage. Yes, and this is true. As she was responsible for this, so Bib would take revenge on her so that he could take revenge of her. She was afraid of that. Moving to question 26, just before Stella get married. Miss Havisham sends for Pip to visit her. Guess why? In your opinion, why did she send for him? Well, uh, according to our point of view, we guess that she wanted to see him hard, uh, uh, yes, to see his heart broken. Uh, we all know that she wants to take revenge from all men and Stella and Pip were her toys. So she wanted to see his heart broken. She wanted to enjoy seeing him destroyed. 27. I think there were there was much Pip could uh, could do to stop Drummond marrying Stella. Do you agree? Why and why not? Well, there was much from Pip to do to stop Drummond marrying Stella. Do you think there are anything or there is anything that Pip could do to stop? Stella from marrying Drummond? Well, no, there wasn't much he could do. Why do we think that, dear students? Because Stella wants to marry him. It's not uh, related to Drummond himself, but Stella insisted on marrying Drummond, not out of love, but 
uh, because he was arrogant and he was rich. So that was the reason. And according to her feelings or to, to her decision, there was nothing in his, in his hand to do. Well, um, another answer here, we have Stella wanted to marry Drummond and it was arrogant or, or it was arranged by Miss Havisham. And we have here 28. If you were bad, how would you feel towards Miss Havisham? Yes, yeah. What do you think? What is your feeling? I would hit her because she was the cause of breaking my heart. Is the question? Yes, of course, I will hit her. However, I would feel sorry for her. She was a miserable old lady whose broken heart made her think of revenge. She think of nothing but revenge. We have 29. Miss Havisham had the intention to start Stella's life. Do you agree or not? Why? No, I don't agree. Oh, yes. Why? Because she cares about her. She take care of her daughter. She only wanted to use Stella, using her only, to take revenge on men. However, she destroyed her life without intention. Yes, she caused her to be cruel heart, and she couldn't got in her life. She think about revenge and the broken hearts of the men. That's all. Thirdly, wasn't there reason, in your opinion, for Miss Havisham to be kind to Pip? Why and why not? Well, if you thought, or in your opinion, was there any reason for Miss Havisham to be kind to Pip? Well, she should hurt him as he came to her when he was a poor little boy. He didn't cause her any harm. He really needed her to be kind to him. Well, that's, that's if you agreed on in this, this is the reason to, uh, for Miss Havisham to be kind to Pip. Well, if not, well, you could say no, she could hurt him all along and never thought uh, except for revenge. She, um, she thought only that she want, to, want her heart to be calm from men. So taking revenge would feel her satisfied. Okay? 31. You will not be surprised or sorry to know that I'm very unhappy. Pip said that to Miss Havisham, what did he mean? Well, what did he mean by this word? Well, he felt sorry for what the students, do you remember? He meant that he knew Miss Havisham's wish to break his heart and take revenge on men by hurting him, and that broke his heart. Number 20, uh, 32. Are you surprised that Miss Havisham seems to feel sorry for Pip? Explain your answer. Are you surprised? Why you are surprised? Yes, I am. So the answer here. I haven't thought that the person who is full of desire to take revenge on men would be sad when she achieved her goal. Yes, she said, I'm sorry. And uh, she felt uh, sorry for him also. 33. It is no use to cry over split milk. It's a common saying. To what extent that apply on Miss Havisham? What do you think? She regretted destroying her life and the lives of others who are around her, like Stella and Pep, and even the relative. But it was too late. Nothing could be done. Everyone is hurt and she also being hurt. So there is no way to cry over split milk. 34. How do you think Miss Havisham misled Beth? Well, she misled him during all the way, uh, during all the days that he spent with her, of being his benefactor. He saw that according to uh, the way she treated him, she made him believe that she was his benefactor. Thirty-five. People thankful towards Herbert and Matthew explain because Herbert never left him or escaped. Well, he helped him. He told Miss Havisham that they were kind and wanted to make her happy. 36. Do you think that Pip was happy to have or to discover uh, who his benefactor was? Give reason. Well, according to what we have watched, he was shocked. He was angry and sad to know that his benefactor was a convict and not Miss Havisham. 
he wasn't happy. His benefactor was a criminal. Yes, here, 37. Miss Havisham proved to be kind-hearted in the end. Explain. So what do you think? What she did? She asked Beth to forgive her for breaking his heart. This is the, at last she tell him, please forgive me because I didn't mean it, but it is special sorry for what happened to me. Why do you think Stella married Trumpet? Yes, do you think what's the reason for that? He was rich, handsome, strong, and postful like her. So she completed her. Number 39, Mr. Wopsel proved to be a good man. Explain what he did, this gentleman. Pip loved Mr. Wopsel. Explain, you have two things here. Pip wanted to Mr. Wopsel in the theater to congratulate him on his performance. And he wanted Pip for Combison, I'm sorry, Combison at the theater. So both of them have affected love and they have with each other in fact. Question 40. Miss Havijam justified misleading Pip saying she shouldn't be kind. Do you agree with her why and why not? Well, she misled Pip. Okay, during the whole uh, or whole his days, she just find that boy. I shouldn't be kind to you. She 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 gives the reason of being unkind to him. Okay, by that she shouldn't be kind. Do you agree that uh, she shouldn't be kind to Pip? Well, according to us, we do, uh, we don't agree to that. Okay, because Pip did nothing to hurt her. He was really kind and he did everything that she asked him to do. And maybe you could say, yes, I do agree. Uh, according to that, um, well, she never said that she is his benefactor. So she never misled him. He saw that from his own point of view. So you could say, I don't agree, or you could say, I agree, but give reasons. 41. Mr. Jaggers proved to be very intelligent, far-sighted. Well, the word intelligent here had another meaning. It's far-sighted. Well, explain that. How was he far-sighted, dear student? He expected that the marriage between Stella and Drummond would fail, and in spite they are both arrogant. They are rich, and she loves rich people, but he is cruel, and a life or a marriage without love of course, it's going to fail. 42. Molly had a sense of gratitude. Explain. As you can see here, she worked as a housekeeper for Mr. Jaggers, who had acquitted her from the murder. Question 43. If you were Beb, would you forgive Miss Habsham when she asked you why? Here you're going to keep your opinion. Yes, I would because she helped Beb when he was young. Yes, she was the start to make him move from his life and change. Or it will be 44. Mr. Jagger proved to be very intelligent, far-sighted again, explained because he explained that the marriage is not going to be completed. And also he is uh, Helped a lot of people to uh, do to be in the safe side and help Beb himself. We have here 45. Coincidence played a role in Beb's relation with Miss Havisham. Explain. Yes, it's not uh, meant it. Mr. Gregor was uh, the lawyer of both Miss Havisham and Provis. This manufacturer, see here, it's uh, both of them. Okay, that was the end of our questions, dear students. Wish you, inshallah, get the full mark in your exams. Uh, tell us any questions that you have and we will give you the answers. Next time, we will meet you on uh, Monday, uh, 8.30 p.m., inshallah. Thank you, Ms. Amani. Enjoy the lesson with you. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Wafa, for this nice uh, session. And good luck, my dear student. As Ms. Wafa said, you can write it. Uh, what do you want, inshallah? Good luck. Thank you. Bye.